Hey everybody, welcome to Digging Deeper Jazz. I'm Jeff Antoniak. So today I want to talk about halftime, double time. A really slick way to practice to get complicated things under our fingers or things that are too fast for us, things we need to clean up. Uh, this is an amazing way to do it. And by the way, nothing to do with the saxophone. This could be guitar or drums or anything where we're trying to get control any instrument at all. And I got this idea from a friend of mine who got it from his professor of classical piano. His professor would only let him practice this way. Very interesting. So before we get into that, I wanna let you know I have a streaming concert coming up with my professional band, Hell of a Band, and that's coming up on Friday, September 11th, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. The cool thing, if you can't attend in real time, if you're on the other side of the planet, fine, buy the pass. By the way, it's five bucks buy the pass, and you can listen to the concert at any point in the next week. So it's $5 for a set of jazz. We're going to do some standards, some tunes from our last album. So I hope you uh, tune in, get to hear me play a little bit, and of course, get to uh, help me support the guys in my band who are trying to make it through this COVID crisis right now financially. So thank you for uh, checking out the link and uh, buying a pass for that. Okay, this idea of playing halftime and double time. It's literally that. Let's say our full time tempo is something like this, and you're trying to play 16th notes. Da, 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 da. And for whatever reason, that's hard. That's fast. Whatever's going on. Da, 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 da. Okay. The idea is you're only allowed to play it there, which we've agreed is too fast. Da, 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 da. And I guess those were 16th. One E and a two E and a da, 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 da. Or you're allowed to play half of that. Ba 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 ba. You can play ba 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 or ba 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 ba, and that's it. Those are your two tempos. It's stunning how fast we learn stuff. So let me get my metronome going at this tempo, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so here's our metronome. Let's say, like on the PDF, I'm trying to play the C major scale as 16th notes. Let's say that's challenging for me at this tempo. I'm having a hard time getting it out. So you set your metronome and you don't change your metronome. You only play it at the fast tempo or half of that tempo. So here's the fast tempo. And here's the slow tempo. So the deal is the fast tempo is too fast for us. That's why we're doing the exercise. Here's the thing. Most of us would not think to slow it down half speed. We would slow it down to just where we're making a lot of mistakes, but not a ton of mistakes. Um, we slow it down to a place where we're not giving ourselves enough time. So half tempo for most of us is much slower than we would think to allow ourselves to play. That's the uh, brilliance of this exercise. And when you're playing this thing so slowly, it's like the world is going in slow motion and you get to see what's going on with my fingers. If you're a drummer, you get to see, oh, I keep lif lifting my stick a lot higher than I need to at that spot. Or, ooh, I'm really tense here. You get to see what's going on and creating the issue that keeps you from doing it full time. And now the biggest thing that I want you to do is go back and forth really quickly between the you know double time and half time or you know single time half time however you want to think about it let me play an example that i have for you item number 1 on the sheet Okay, full disclosure, I know my C major scale, but I learned something as I was playing it slow there. So, you know, no, I, it wasn't a huge challenge to play it at the faster tempo, but when I slowed it down, I realized my left third finger, my G finger on the saxophone, was a little slow and a little lazy as I was playing. So I noticed that when I played it slow, then when I went back to playing it fast, I was able to think about that and I was able to sort of watch it in slow motion and fix it. I was able to clean it up, even though I was able to play it, I was able to play it better for doing this exercise. And the biggest thing, so the way I wrote it out, you know, item number one there, is that exactly how you have to do it? You know, I was sort of alternating between fast and slow. 
I'll go back and forth. You know, I'll flip back and forth. I might play it slow twice. I might play it fast once. I might play half of it. I might play half of it fast. Then I play half of it slow. Then I play the whole thing. The idea is to go back and forth quickly. That seems to be where we get the most energy from it. And the whole thing is the metronome gets set in one place and you go back and forth. It's pretty cool. So let's move on to uh, item number two. And you know what? Before we do that, I want to let you know um, two big things coming up. First of all, I have a webinar, a free webinar that I'm doing on September 16th at one o'clock. This is going to be my fourth or fifth webinar. So write that down in your book. And then probably the biggest, coolest thing is um, I have four Digging Deeper Jazz online workshops coming up. I did a couple series of these back in the spring. And we had folks from all over the world tuning in, doing amazing work. And again, this is something we do on the Zoom platform. I get to hear you. There's only 15 of us, by the way, really, really limited. There are 15 of us working together. I'm literally talking to you. I'm hearing you play. We're playing together. I'm playing examples. You're playing with me wherever you are in the world. Uh, we have four different topics, as you can see. The first one coming up is rock and funk playing. Every time I do a video on that, people are really interested in the scales and how do we articulate and, you know, so let's let's get into it. Let's, uh, let's do some playing together. So uh, please register for these uh, workshops. You can register for one or there's a reduced rate for all four. So check those out and get signed up. The spots go super quickly. You know, by the end of today, they could be gone since there's only 15 spots per workshop. Okay, let's look at item number two. This is one of the tunes I'm going to be doing uh, in the streaming concert coming up on uh, September 11th. It's the Charlie Parker song, Moose the Mooch. And the bridge is hard because it takes me into altissimo. It's hit and miss. The first measure is the sort of, you know, slowed down version. And what is getting me is that big leap from the fourth note to the fifth note. It's a leap up a fifth and it jumps into the super high part of the tenor saxophone. The worst note, by the way, on this instrument. Um, and I have to jump up in time and get it. So sometimes the note doesn't speak. Sometimes when it does, it's a little stuffy. Sometimes it's a finger issue. Sometimes it's an air issue. This is something that I'm working on. So let me give you an example of how I'm working on it by going fast, slow, back and forth. Okay, I wasn't faking that. When it started off, it was nasty. And then I played it four times fast right at the end, and I nailed it every time. I discovered something right here or was reminded of something as I was playing. My thought is it's a finger thing. I need to fix my fingers. What's going on with my fingers? This is so fast, my fingers, my fingers. Turns out what I discovered in slow motion was that theory was not correct. It was actually an embouchure voicing thing, we would call it, that was not allowing the saxophone to speak. I was choking the saxophone. When I figured out how to not choke the saxophone, lo and behold, the note came out. So right there, I made that, I made some progress, right? Half time, double time. Let me do one more for you. So this is this is a song we've been doing in the red community at Jazzwire kicking people's butts, because that's what we do there. Kick people's butts and have fun and learn how to do this stuff. So this is a really challenging part of the song, Hot House. Challenging for me, challenging for lots of other folks. Half time, double time. So I wrote out here um, sort of what it would look like. Don't go to the effort of writing it out like this. So what I'll do is I'll sort of play it for you right here. But the idea is I wanted to show you what it's like to set the metronome in one place and jump back and forth between half time and double time. <laughs> Mm 
Interesting. So I made some personal discoveries there. So I, I found out that that top note of the triplet, the third note of the triplet, when I placed that in time, when I accented it and got it just right in time, everything else flowed into it and out of it. So right there, I think if you listen to the beginning of it to the end, there was a difference. It was noticeable to me. Now, yes, this is a song I played for a long time. Um, there are songs that I'm learning today that I can't get through or patterns that I can't get through and I'm practicing them this way. Sometimes it's in a high range on the instrument or a low range on the instrument, half time, double time. Give this a try. I really wanna hear uh, comments from you and let me know how it goes. So the fast tempo should be, you know, challenging, unplayable, let's call it. And exactly half time is probably a lot slower than you would normally play. This is a really cool thing, and I've gotten a ton of mileage from it. Lots of my students have. This is something I wanted to share with you guys. So I hope I'm going to uh, see you getting registered for the Digging Deeper Jazz workshops coming up four Thursdays in a row. And again, if you can't make those in real time, we record them. So we have people that order the workshop and do it um, after the fact. And of course, you can email me with questions. We can you know, be in contact with it. So a lot of great com stuff coming up, the webinar, the workshops, and the streaming concert. And give this thing a try. I think you're gonna find it's magic and you're gonna start playing things literally in five minutes that you would have probably taken a month sneaking up one click at a time on the metronome. Give this one a try. Mm -hmm.